After installing any kind of distro in Termux, you open VNC viewer to connect the VNC server. After some time it says the connection closed unexpectedly. Then you go back to Termux and you will see a message. Process completed, signal 9, press enter and the Termux is forced to quit. So why does that happen? According to Agnostic Apollo's article on Android 12 and 13, a new mechanism was added for Android system to monitor forked processes by the apps. They were named phantom processes. So it defines how many processes are allowed to run before got killed by the system. Fun fact, they were named phantom because they were designed to give Android devs nightmares when they saw them. So the feature prevents apps from using excessive CPU powers. While running services in the background, Termux is likely to be killed by the system by any time. That is why VNC server got terminated when you try to connect to the VNC server. The phantom process killing can be disabled by executing ADB commands or for a rooted device it is way more easy. Only two commands will fix it. First I will show you how to use these commands on a rooted device and later on unrooted device. Those who are using the Termux on only Android 12, the command is and for those who are using Termux on Android 12L or Android 13, the command is different and it is Now for non-rooted device you need a computer and you have to go to the command shell and use the adb shell command. Only for Android 12 you have to type and for Android 12 L and Android 13 you have to type. So that I will fix the signal 9 Termux error and you are good to go now. Thanks for watching, subscribe me for more.